what I've done is I've got a big slab of wood that I'm going to try to carve a seat. This is a attempt one to carve a seat. We'll see how it turns out. What I did, the seat area is actually 17 inches from here to here. So it's 17 inches across. So it's larger so that I can attach it in four places because this is actually two boards not glued together but if this was a, um, a seat it would be glued and pinned together but I'm just this is an attempt I'm making a seat so we'll just see how it turns out so this is attempt one otherwise the wood be wood would be planed uh, this is just some wood I a scrap wood that I had I found at a construction site so I'm going to use it as my attempt and template to see how the CNC shark does at making a uh, wood seat. Now I'm going to put all these files at the end of uh, this or a location where you can get these files at the end of this video. So if you want to get those files just skip to the end if that's all you want to see. But I'm going to do a time lapse on this and uh, see how it does cutting a seat. All right you can see that it, it does it pretty fast especially in the time lapse. It doesn't take too long. It's about an hour and a half to do the whole thing. Um, and it's quicker using the layout that's in the software at the end. What I did is I stretched it and I tried to save some spaces and tried to save a few things and I ended up making the file longer. So, But it, for a first attempt it turned out pretty well. What it's doing now, if you look at it, is cutting different radius flutes and that's what happens to give me the textured finish at the end that you'll see. Uh, I figured that out. Now I'm going to clean it up and uh, we'll zoom in. I'm going to sand it next to get some of that debris off and uh, you'll see. All right, let's take a look at it. Um, I think this is scalped too much, so I'm going to change this depth. Uh, this is 5 eighths of an inch. I think I'm going to go up to like 0.4. The other issue is uh, right in here there's, there's too much. This is nice and smooth. The space in here is different from the space in here because it's on a radius. So I'm going to redo this so the space in is better. But this is a larger seat, and that's what I was doing. The one in the files is a smaller seat, and it, it works a lot better than this does. Okay? A lot smoother. But this will work uh, fairly well. I can sand this out and make it. You can see it just goes a little bit past that seam right there. Change it, flip it over, try it again, and uh, make some changes and see if I like it a little better. But, uh, that's an interesting seat. I'm going to sand it a little bit, set in it, and see what I think. But, so you can make a scallop seat using B-Carve Pro and your CNC Shark or whatever other CNC that you have. And it comes out like this. Uh, at least this version does. Again, what I'm going to do is, is change this depth so it comes up here. That way you won't have quite a steep, you won't have as big a peak here. And uh, this is a large one, so I'm going to add some more lines and use what I'm going to do, and that'll change the spacing. So. All right, what you can see is I've sanded it once it gets focused. Um, I just took a rubber sander and went over it, hit it with a, like a 100 grit sandpaper, and it smoothed it up quite well. I was impressed at how quickly it smoothed it up. Um, if I was this is going to be my finished product, obviously I'd start with a heavier grit and make it smooth. But I found out that the texture, once you set in that seat, you can't even feel it. So uh, it might be good ventilation. So it might make the seat a little bit cooler. If you remember the old steel farm seats, they cut holes in them to make them ventilate a little bit. So I have to, to finish this. It's going to be a rocker is what I'm thinking about making. And this is the first step is how do I make a seat that looks and feels comfortable. Uh, this is what started. This is my first version. Uh, it's for a child seat. And all I did is take the rectangle in the model. If you look in the models you've got a rectangle and I made the rectangle extend past my object that I'm machining. And so it's actually a rectangle machine in the front and the back but because it's longer than the chair it cuts out in the air basically so that turned out pretty good for a child seat um, then what I did hold on for a second this is my second attempt and you can see it turned out pretty good um, it's I figured out why the I have different ripples here I set on it you can't even feel them so uh, it doesn't really hurt anything but I figured out what caused it. What I did is I shortened up the length of the vectors. 
because they all came to terminated here and I cut uh, half of them back two inches so I'd save all that motion right in there and when I did that the so software tool that I use to cut these actually makes it five-eighths of an inch deep from one end to the other end so when it goes from here to here it's longer and when I change it to the next one it's shorter it actually changes where that depth is so it changes the radius of a cut so I'll have to waste all those extra strokes and come all the way down here here I thought I was saving time and it went from smooth to rippled and that was my fault so but it turned out all right for a first attempt so keep that in mind have fun playing with your CNC